everyone and welcome back to another vlog. Um, say hello. Hello. <laughs> um, we are just making Lola some eggy bread for her lunch. I've never actually given her this before so we'll see how she likes it. I thought it'd be quite a sort of soft thing to give her if that makes sense. I'm trying to give her a little bit more like finger food type things but um, she's only got two little teeth at the bottom so it's actually harder than one would think um, to do. So yeah, um, I'm just cooking it now as we're speaking. I haven't had any pet in years. Do you like it sweet? Well, it's French toast, isn't it? Um, but do you like it sweet or savoury? I don't mind either, to be honest. But I'm not having any. Um, What's the matter? Oh, you've dropped your gun then. Oh, never mind. Goo goo goo, what's the matter with you? It's been a little bit windy today. We had a bit of a. Don't worry, I didn't pick it up from the floor, it was on the other side. Um, we had a little bit of a tricky night in that um, she woke up at half past five and then I brought her into bed with us and she. Well, she woke up at 11 for ages, then she woke up at half past five. Um, and so then she was. Um, fussing and everything so it took a while till she got to sleep so we didn't wake up till a bit later so her nap had to be at a different time and all kinds of things like that. Um, so the plan for today, I think we'll probably just do a daily vlog today, but the plan for today, you're looking longingly at your lunch, it's coming, I promise, it won't be long. The plan for today is we are going to um, nip out in a bit, I want to go to Aldi and get a few bits. Um, I've been trying to diet and I don't know what's going on but I have just been absolutely starving recently. I don't know what it, that's about but just like nothing's been working for me. Like I've just been really hungry all the time. So um, I don't know if, I don't know. Somebody did suggest that I should check if I'm pregnant which I'm on the pill so I doubt very much that I am. Um, but somebody did suggest that which very very scary thing um, because <laughs> no thank you um, but um, yeah I I might buy a pregnancy test and just check just to be on the safe side um, but I want to go to, Lid uh, to Aldi and buy just a few healthy things I think what I'm going to just do is just try and kind of be mindful of what I'm eating and kind of just like you know watch my calories kind of thing but not try and be super super strict about it because I think I'm just so sleep deprived at the moment that it's just making me really hungry when I'm trying to like not eat carbs or do the extent diet or anything like that so yeah um, and then kind of hardcore it in the new year but just be sensible in the meantime I've, I've still been like losing weight but I don't know it's just weird I'm like I'm like feeling like I really need to eat chocolate and just weird things that are not like me so we'll see about that um, I also need to speak to my accountant about something actually um, every day I need to speak to the accountant don't I it's it's a thing that happens in our industry your toast is nearly ready gorgeous nearly 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 and mummy will give you a bit of yogurt with your toast I think yeah a little bit of yoghurt with your tasty. A little bit of yoghurt with your toast. I think we're having like that eight month sleep regression thing. Are you? Now we're not picking up Lella because it really has fallen. Um, yeah, I think we're in the midst of that eight month sleep regression because it is pretty not great the sleep. Um, but you will get there one day. She really, really likes it and she's got it with some natural yogurt which she weirdly really likes as well. So nice. Yum yum yum. So we have just headed out. It's very quiet out today. It's it's also slightly spitting, which is amazing. It's just honestly it rains here every single day. So that's fun. Um Little is really snug. I got to keep her mittens on for the time being as well. Let's see how long that lasts. Strangely quiet out as well. I don't know what's going on. It's weird. Like, what day is it? Thursday, and it's like two o'clock, and there's not a soul out. It's really dead. It kind of feels a bit eerie. So I came into the restaurant to have some lunch. I've got salad, and I grabbed one of these from Boots as well. Full disclosure, it's not actually that nice, but I thought just for a change. Lola's having a little cuddle. <laughs> so I can eat my lunch in peace. 
So I didn't end up going to Aldi um, because it kind of time got away with me by the time we went and went to do a nap and I didn't want to like ruin her nap time. <laughs> Um, she's actually falling asleep just now in the buggy, so fingers crossed I can get her transferred into her cot so she has a bit of a proper nap. Um, she's not one of those babies that'll sleep in the buggy once it's stopped. Oh, and that me. majorly backfired, didn't it? She um, fell asleep for a minute while I was pushing her, which sometimes I can manage to get her out and pop her into the cot, and that's okay. But no, not this time. That didn't work. So she worked straight up again, and I can't get her back to sleep. It's now half past three, which means that we're in proper danger zone in terms of naps, which really, really isn't good. You're probably watching this if you haven't got a baby and thinking like, oh my God, you're so uptight, like, just go with it. Um, there is no such thing as just go with it when it comes to sleep. Um, you're exhausted and you need a minute to yourself and you have to kind of stick to a routine or so it all goes to shit even though it already isn't great like i said you know she wakes up loads in the night she's eight months old and we're not anywhere near being like in a good setup despite me doing everything you're supposed to do in theory doesn't seem to work so yeah that's that um so i don't know what to do now i'm debating just walking to bloody aldi and getting that over and done with but you know when you're just like i really really want to sit down i wanted to just have a coffee and sit down for a minute she's fine by the way she's in the bouncer um so yeah i'm not entirely sure what i'm supposed to do now because i don't want her to have a very long nap because then it's proper danger zone in terms of when she'll go to bed and i'm not having her go to bed at like nine o'clock we're in a good routine with that and i want to stick to it so um yeah i don't know where we're going what we're going to do with that really um i'll show you what i got anyway my life is just like ruled by sleep i don't get anywhere near enough at night um and during the day it's just so hard to kind of structure it unless you're properly at home because you still can only stay awake for about three hours at a time so you have to get it right um and she's not one of those babies that will nap like out and about she just doesn't she never has been and it's really difficult unless like i said you're just at home all the time which is depressing and not doable anyway um she will nap in the buggy if you're pushing it but she's not one of those babies that you can just like park the buggy and she'll happily nap in it not ever gonna happen never was like that she just doesn't she just straight away wakes up same goes for the car she likes to sleep in her car or bed or you know like whatever um and she's whinging now because she's in the bouncer <laughs> she's, it's, it's, it's hard work like it it's you just feel like you're kind of constantly trying to just get it right and never um, quite get it right. <laughs> so I just dropped the washing up like spongy thing um, and it made a loud noise and she started to cry and got really upset. <laughs> so yeah um right what did i get i did get much a few little bits i got her this toy little shark for the bath um you wind it up i'm gonna put this in her um actually no i'll give her this one now and i got her this one as well just a little turtle that does the same and i'll pop it in her christmas stocking um then i got so you're gonna think that this is like weird treats but dime bars they're 152 calories each they're a nice little thing with coffee Small crunchy bars, 122, that's really not bad. Um, these crispy roll Milky Way things are 60 for one, so like 120 for two of them. Really, really good. Um, yes, yeah, they're really good actually. They're a really nice treat with coffee. And then I also got some more crisp squares, because they're 97 calories a packet, and I actually really like those. Um, and then I also got some steam. This soft biscuit is like my favourite with coffee kind of biscuit, like as an afternoon little snack. But these are pre-portioned into little packs of two, so I thought that was really good because they're actually really good calorie-wise. They're only 38 calories each, I think. Uh, let me tell you. 37. So yeah, do you want those? <laughs> um, yeah, like 37 each, so they're a really nice little treat to have. Um, and... You're not kind of, you don't have to feel too, too guilty. And they're really so, good. Um, I <laughs> managed to get her to, well, I wasn't trying to get her to fall asleep. She was getting really grumpy and tired and fell asleep. It's now quarter to five, so I'm only going to let her sleep until five. And then I'll wake her up, which I know is, I just, 
she, I just wanted to go to bed on time because otherwise it just all goes tits up. Um, but I realised I left you on somewhat of a click, cliffhanger earlier with the saying I was going to buy a pregnancy test. What did I say? I, I don't even know if I said it now. Um, but I did go and buy one and I am not pregnant, which is great. Um, I didn't think that I was anyway, but everyone on Instagram was making me a bit paranoid. So yeah, I'm going to quickly drink a cup of coffee and then I am going to wake Lola that up and see about doing that little Aldi trip although it's pitch black outside so maybe I work not this little it. angel up from her nap um she's being very cute to be fair very cuddly <laughs> you doing smiles gorgeous <laughs> yeah you looking what are you looking at My phone, she is obsessed with my phone, it's absolutely terrible. Shows I use it too much. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, what? what are you doing? <laughs> what do you want, gorgeous? Are you saying that you want to hold the camera because I'm afraid? Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, I said, didn't I, that I'd speak to you a little bit about the whole diet weight loss situation. Um, so basically, I was kind of doing low carb and I was doing the extent shakes, which works really well for me. Um, because I just kind of, I don't know, I just, I just don't feel very good about myself and it's a constant battle, isn't it? Um, so I, oh, lovely cuddles. Um, I was trying to do that um and then it just really wasn't agreeing with me like i just felt really really hungry all of the time like to a point where it just wasn't doable and i don't know what was going on because it's it's not like me but all i can think of was um that it was to do with the fact that i wasn't sleeping very much so you're kind of like cortisol levels are raised and it makes you hungrier and all that kind of thing um so yeah i think that's possibly what happened do you want to get down and play with some of your toys one minute we'll go down and play with your toys um so yeah i think maybe <laughs> i'll just pop it down i think that's what's happened um so i've come to the realization that you know come christmas time nobody's on a diet at christmas right um you know you eat all the good food and it's just it is what it is um so i <laughs> there you go um so my goal is just going to be to just eat really sensibly and i need i do need to have treats still i'm afraid like normally i'm really good at not kind of doing that kind of thing but you know when you just are so just tired and when you get that two minutes you want to just eat something nice so yeah that um now oh, she's turned it. <laughs> she's turned one of her toys on. I'll show you, it's a very strange toy. Um, so yeah, so I need to just come up with some sort of quick and easy meals and stuff. Because that's the other thing, by the time I put to bed, I so can't be bothered to start cooking stuff. So I end up eating something like an omelette or like if I'm being naughty, a slice of toast or a bowl of cereal or that kind of thing. Um, <laughs> so yeah i do very much need to wash my hair tonight and it's, it's kind of slightly disheveled greasy sort of state i mean oh dear it was I, like i did do it this morning it looked all right but i think when i went for a walk this kind of happened so i thought i'd show you what i grabbed from aldi that's lola eating her dinner in the back <laughs> hitting something with a spoon no doubt um so fruit wise i've got some strawberries and some grapes i can have that with a bit of yogurt for breakfast they didn't actually have very much in there i think because i went a bit later kind of everything had been picked through some broccoli some eggs some skimmed milk um i just prefer skimmed milk i'm a bit funny about milk anyway um then i've got some asparagus which again they didn't have too much of which was annoying because i love asparagus a bit um so um, cherry tomatoes i usually roast those and i'll put them in various stuff because i don't like raw tomatoes which i know is a bit weird um some mini bananas these are really good for lola as a little snack um some of these uh deli rolls i thought these kind of looked quite nice and they weren't too um high cal 
and I thought I could have them with like some salad and stuff inside as a lunch thing, as a quick option. Um, they're only good until the 30th of November. Then I've got these carrot puffs for Lola just to sort of have like um, finger food kind of thing. All her meals I make from scratch, but I don't mind her having things like that here and there. Um, some spring onions, some normal brown onions, some peppers, some avocados, um, some rainbow rice. I don't think I've tried this one before, but I like it. Um, the broccoli one or the cauliflower one, so that. Some oriental, um, what do you call it, stir fry. There's a lot of plastic in this haul. I am um, holding my hands to it. It will go straight in the recycling, though. Um... So yeah, like I said, peppers, big bag of kale. We actually eat a lot of kale at home. I love kale. Paul will eat it, um, but I absolutely love it, um, which I know is weird because a lot of people don't like kale, but I happen to really like it. These veggie straw things. I don't know if these are for kids, but I really like these. They're kale, tomato, and spinach, um, and they are not too bad calorie-wise, and you get a lot in a packet as well, <laughs> which I appreciate. I really, really like these, actually. They're gluten-free as well, um, and vegan. I never know that what the difference is. Something says vegan or suitable for vegans. Um, some lighter creme fraiche, some halloumi cheese, some soft pita breads. I did want to buy the, um, like, they were like, what's the word? Like, not, I want to say flapjacks, but it's not flapjacks, flapjacks at all. Like, um, flatbread type things but um they didn't have any of the right stock so i thought these were an interesting thing to try i might put some of them in the, in the freezer though because they do the dry but they're good until the 4th of december so let's see um just a little lasagna thing for Paul to eat in a minute because he's home and i didn't get anything out for him to have um a butternut squash because i was going to make some soup possibly some lighter grated cheese um then i've got some more little snack things these corn wheels and tomato wheels as well for lola to try some decaf green tea because i like this at night um then some tomato soup just because i thought i'd try that brand and then i bought some plum tomatoes to make my own tomato soup i thought that's good like if i'm really in a hurry these halloumi fry things just as a naughty little treat but they're actually not too bad and i weigh them out so that i know what they're like calorie wise um and some yogurt to have with my breakfast and a cucumber so one thing i'm gonna quickly do now is swap my bags over i've i've gone back to using my changing bag which is fine um but the fact that there's just like it's not compartments was getting annoying like it always ends up messy when i'm looking for stuff so i'm gonna change over to just this bag it's just like a sort of shopper type thing it's a nice bag it's a nice sort of like autumnal color um so i'm gonna swap everything over but i'll keep the lola's sort of divider thing in there and then i'll put all my stuff in one side and my thinking is then it's a bit more organized so there we go, there's a little bit more organisation in there. All of Lola's stuff are in this compartment. Um, I sort of wish that this bit stuck out more so it was more obvious what the compartments were, but it's fine. Um, and I don't tend to zip this bag anyway, I just close it with these bits. So that's not too, too bad. And then I could just pop my phone in. Does it have pockets? No, it doesn't. That's the only thing that's a bit of a pain. I'll have to just pop my phone like at the top of it kind of thing here. Um, so that's good. And I also did the obligatory 5 million lipstick removal thing. So actually what I'm having for my dinner. So I've got a cheese and onion omelette. There's obviously a cheese and onion inside that. Some chopped up peppers, some cucumber and a little bit of mayo. I'm weird with omelettes. I have to have some sort of sauce type thing with them because otherwise I find them a bit dry. Hi everyone, so it is um, Thursday, no it's not, it was Thursday today, it's Friday today, um, and I thought I would just carry on the vlog because I didn't end it yesterday. I'm just making myself a coffee, Lola is having a nap, she is um, probably close to being done with her nap, um, so I'm just going to enjoy this coffee in peace for a minute while um, she's still sleeping. Um, I'm going to have some of those little biscuits two of those so that's like 60 calories it's nice with coffee um sorry if like you're not interested in the calorie thing do you want me to mention it or shall i not mention it um i don't mind kind of either way but um i was just wondering kind of what you preferred um sorry i'm just getting something out of the cupboard um to just wipe down <laughs> some spilt porridge from another breakfast um but yeah, so um, that dinner I had last night, by the way, that omelette and everything was so nice. 
those peppers were lovely they were really really sweet um so i really really actually did enjoy that which i'm glad about and this morning i had some grapes and some strawberries and some of that yogurt that yogurt is amazing um the passion fruit mango and all that was really 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 nice so yeah um i really really enjoyed that so then um what have we got planned for the rest of today? I need to grab some milk to put in my coffee, so bear with. Um, yeah, I need to um, just do a few um, admin things on the laptop with the accountant. Um, you're probably like, why do you have so much correspondence with your accountant? There's just always stuff that needs doing, it's annoying. Well, especially like at the moment with like furlough and things like that going on, you have to kind of make sure everything's correct and everything's in place for everyone and that kind of thing it's quite stressful um so i need to just do a few things like that but i'm waiting for her to send me something and it's a pain because i want her to send me it so i can do my bit um and she said she was gonna send me it but then like i haven't got it yet so i want i, I don't want to be annoying and like be like hello can you chase her up kind of thing but i might have to if it takes too much longer because um they're closed tomorrow so that's that um what else today do we have going on um i need to figure out something with a package that i was sent that's been delivered to some weird petrol station somewhere and i have to laugh at me i can't figure out why it's gone there so i need to figure out that um and i'm going to attempt to do some christmas present wrapping now, I don't know, do I wait for Lola to go to sleep and do it during her lunchtime now, or I don't know. If I do it on the floor and she sits next to me, that might work. I haven't got that much to wrap either, so we shall see. Um, I'm waiting for two more things to arrive today, actually. But, sorry, you probably don't want to watch me eating a biscuit. Um, they're just the best, best biscuits, lotus biscuits. Mm. Lovely. Um, so, yeah, um, I also need to go and get some water wipes because we're nearly out. I know a lot of people stock on Amazon, which is maybe much stocking. I need to work out kind of if it is cheaper to do it that way. Um, and then I also need to go to M&S because I need to buy some socks. Um, and I need to buy some um, just underwear bits. I feel like I want some new underwear. I know M&S is a boring place to go, but I just like the way their bras fit. Um, so yeah, I might do that later on as well. So I've managed to figure out what happened with that pack. Well, I don't know why it happened, but with that package, it's been taken to some random like little news agents on the outskirts of town um, that I've never ever even set foot in. Um, and yeah, it was taken there for some bizarre reason because they didn't even attempt to deliver it. So I'm really not quite sure what happened there. Um, and because I haven't got a slip, I'm not quite sure if they're going to give me the package either. So we'll have to, I don't know, we'll have to see about that. Um, and then I rang to pay an invoice for the restaurant for something that I needed to pay. And they didn't answer either. Um, so yeah, it's <laughs> not super productive. she has <laughs> woken up from her nap. I've gotten her dress. She's wearing little socks with pom-poms on them, which are very, very cute. Her outfit's actually from H&M, um, but the socks are from TK Maxx. And she is being a little bit clingy and grumpy. So I've got some washing that I need to put on um, and some that I need to put away as well. <laughs> so I'm going to attempt to put the washing I need to put away first because um, she can sort of hang out with me while I'm doing that and see how that goes. Because she usually kind of kicks up a fuss when she's just woken up. She'd be One job I really, really, really need to do is sort out Lola's wardrobe because it's an absolute mess. There's not like a proper system in here because of the way the cupboard is i need like storage boxes and i need to like do labels and things it's kind of a makeshift thing all this stuff down here stuff that doesn't fit her anymore and it's just a mess 
I have got a very, very, very grumpy little girl on my hands today for some reason. I don't know if she, she must be teething or something. But um, I've not managed to get anything done really because she just wants to be on me the whole, whole time. <laughs> And keeps doing that. She's just getting irritated and just wants me to hold her constantly. So I've given up trying to do things. Um, well, I have done things. I've done like emails and stuff that I can do on my phone while I'm sitting here. If she'll entertain herself for a minute, I'll. When she goes down for her nap, I'll try and do maybe just her Christmas presents if I can do those. Fingers crossed. Um, but I probably won't get to do everyone else's, unfortunately. I <laughs> don't know what's going on. What's going on? So it's a little bit later now. Um, Lola has gone down for her nap. I've got the monitor just right here next to me. Um, but I'm going to <laughs> do some gift wrapping in a moment. I've brought only Lola's presents down. I'll make a crack at those today see how we go um i need to grab some cellophane actually which i've got in there somewhere and see if i need any christmas bags and that kind of thing for some of the bits that i can tell are going to be difficult to wrap um but i'm first going to just drink this cup of coffee and eat a little bar of chocolate because i need to sit down for a minute <laughs> So I've started doing some wrapping um, and I've got Lola her little Christmas day dress in here. It's just a little dress from H&M. I'll link it down below for you and a little bow as well which is super cute. And I put in a little box for it. Yes, it's an old glossy box because <laughs> it was the box that I had but it doesn't matter. Um, for Lola's wrapping paper, I've got these cute little stickers and stuff like that. I appreciate the irony of the fact that she's not going to care what her presents are or how they're wrapped but I'm doing it anyway. I've got her snow globe as well. I thought that could be like a nice sort of like keepsake type thing for her to have um so yeah that's really cute as well so it's much later on now um and we are just walking into town i need to drop off some forms in the restaurant i don't know if i showed you did i show you i wrapped a couple of presents i didn't get very much done because i then had a phone call from the accountant um and the receptionist at my accountants is really really friendly and she's really lovely so we had quite a long chat um about the fact that apparently soon we're waiting on other hospitality um, restrictions to come in place in Wales. It's going to be announced on Monday, so yay for that, right? Um, I've got this little love bug in here <laughs> looking very cozy and cute. She's keeping her hat on and coming, which is a fantastic start, so that's good. Um, I'm going to quickly pop to um s and i need to grab a couple of gift bags as well from somewhere i think so we'll see where to get those from maybe the pound shop again maybe i'll see my friend who ignored me <laughs> which not my friend <laughs> but um yeah we'll see how that goes and i'm also gonna try to, i need to get some water wipes actually but i might leave that for tomorrow um i try and give myself like little errands that i need to run every day just so that so i'm not doing everything we got home from running our errands and everything um, and it was a bit of a fail really none of the bits i wanted from marks and fences um were there so i just got a couple of gift bags that i needed from the pound shop and that was it lola's had her dinner and we are now going to go and have a bath and put this little munchkin to bed so i'm gonna love you and leave you for this week um i hope you've all had a good week i am very trepidatious as to what these new restrictions are going to be but um yeah i'll see you soon bye